She's doing some crab picking. Um, that bowl will be full by the time I'm done. I already started. I need you to grab um, a fork for me. Actually, it's probably a fork out. No, I need a fork. That's a mean-looking crab. So do you have any words of wisdom about crab picking for our audience, Courtney? <laughs> nope. No? Just takes Stay patience. at it? Just, just takes patience. We got our crabs cooked already, so I just have to pick them. We're making crab toast. So there's no meat in here, no. but there's meat in these three yep. Yep. parts of each leg. Yep. And there's even some meat here, right? Yep. And the claw is the best. The claw is the best. We are recreating a recipe we had at the Clearwater restaurant in Newport when we were there the other day. So we're going to do crab melts, tarragon and shallot. And manchego cheese and sour cream for those of you who can have dairy. We're gonna have a shrimp salad. And for those who can have dairy again, there will be clam chowder. Look at that piece. I want that piece. My name's on that piece. <laughs> Guess who gets a little white wine because she's preparing the crab? Courtney in her white wine glass with an M on it. The bowl's getting pretty full, Courtney. It's only two crabs. We have five, right? Mm -hmm. Five crabs. Shells. Meat. Time to cook. That looks beautiful. Yes. Dungeness, Dungeness crab. Because we're on the west coast. Fresh, local Dungeness crab. Clam chowder on. Uh, shallots with tarragon in the pot. And we're gonna add some crab. Yeah, we need to chive these suckers and then we need to put cheese on your guys. Oh, there's plenty of crab for you guys too. Woo! Yep. So we added sour cream and crab to the scallops and tarragon. Shallots. Shallots. Not scallops. So it's a Freudian slip. Shallots and tarragon. These are piled high. Can you say bon appetit? Bon appetit. Good morning. This is Thursday, the day that we hitch up and get out of here. We are, we've been at a rental house, a VRBO house on the Central Oregon coast for two weeks, and now we're getting ready to leave. And uh, this is what we're dealing with. Look at the clearance. Now I got in pretty good, but as you can see, it's not exactly full of, full of space here. So I backed up the truck as close as I can. And this one's gonna be a little bit, this is gonna be an off camber uh, hookup, or at least the angle is going to be a little bit different. Uh, so we may have to adjust the Hensley hitch a little bit to get the stinger in. But on the bright side, we did get our new hitch receiver installed. It's brand new. It's really secure. So we're happy with how that turned out. But this is going to be a really interesting departure. It's wet. My tires are slipping. I do have four wheel drive and I've already used that a couple times just to get up and down. Uh, this driveway to um, bring some things down from the house that we had previously brought up that we need that we need to take with us so overall this this has been an awesome two weeks but it's time to move on and let's hope this let's hope we get out of here okay So let me show you what we're working with. We're all hitched up, but we're way off level. But we already knew that coming in. I mean, this is the way the Hensley works, where this thing can pivot on the ball, which is which is still here. 
Um, so this thing can um, pivot left and right, but it can actually go back and forth like this. Uh, so when we pull out, it's made uh, for this kind, for, for just this kind of off camber activity. Um, this is a little bit loose, which you actually don't want, but we can't fix it yet because we're way off level. So we can't fix it for the level that it's currently at. Um, otherwise it won't be, won't be cool once we're uh, actually straight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our best to pull out of here as safely and as slowly as we can and then find our full first pull off that's flat and get everything nice and even and situated back here. Make sure everything's good. And then we will be off to the races. That's the, uh, that's the plan anyway. Yet another reason why you start your drive with a full tank of gas and maybe more water than you need. It's been about 45, 30, 45 minutes and we've been sitting here on 101 North waiting out a couple of accidents. People are bailing. Well, we don't have that option because we can't turn around. So we are here for the long haul. We might just get out our lawn chairs and, and sit out and enjoy the weather. Because it is blue skies, like 60 degrees. So at least it's not hot in 110 in Arizona. Now it's pretty much a parking lot. The guy in the truck in front of us came back, just walked back and said that it, he's heard on Facebook that it's gonna be about two hours because it was a really bad accident. We saw a wrecker pass us, uh, so I guess that's a good thing. Courtney's trying to look up what the heck is going on on Twitter. Wait, this was not Twitter. And I don't think she's finding it. Uh, so we're... Um, we're going to be a little bit late, but uh, we're certainly not going to check in early, which was our original concern. That's no longer a concern. Okay, update. We just heard from a biker coming this way that a truck with eels, that's Lost eels, E-E-L-S, those, those straight fish, those eels, um, are like all over the road and there's slime on, on three at cars. least three cars behind. So and they rammed into it, so it's a big accident. And they rammed into it, yeah. So it wasn't somebody who just wrecked, it was a truck who lost its load of eels. I don't think I've ever heard of a truck losing its eels. I mean, you, a truck lost its eels. We're moving. And grooving. It's right there. At least one accident's Not right there. One, only one lane of traffic open. Oh, 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 that's, oh, that's like horrible. In the side. That's crazy. Oh, that's horrible. I don't think we've ever felt more, I don't know, thankful to, to, to be parked in a flat spot with hookups right outside. The sun is shining. Everybody's happy. People are walking around. Kids are playing. Even even now, I don't mind kids because I usually uh, the the noise and the and the screaming. But you know what? Right now, everything is just peachy. We made it. It feels good. Not quite the same view, and obviously not as good company as what we had when For we were sure. visiting family yeah. on the coast. But we are a short walk to the beach, we think. And even though we are kind of parking lot style, we have a little bit of grass and a picnic table and this will do just fine for a week. The two week vacation we had was absolutely perfect. It was it was awesome spending time with, uh, with family. But there were some parts of that that wasn't a vacation. For example, we killed no less than eight different mice inside the Airstream yeah. because we parked- In the woods. In in the woods. It was on the property of, of the VRBO house. So it was super convenient and we wanted to make that work. You, you saw that earlier in the video. Um, but it's mice country. And uh, yeah, that wasn't fun setting traps and having to watch. I, I won't describe some of the mice related scenes um, that we woke up to sometimes, uh, but but we've that, wasn't, the airstream. that wasn't great. Yeah. We've cleaned the airstream. We've bleached it. Well, where where the mice? You know, the parts of the airstream where the mice were. Um, and Courtney was was really sick yesterday. Yeah, I had a stomach uh, flu, which spent did the not day make, in. did not make this trip today easier. But at least it was yesterday. Yep. So. And then we had the stress of actually getting the airstream out of that really tight precar precarious spot. And our new hitch, and making sure that everything was working. Yes. But all that done. 
now the sun is shining we have full hookups we, my monitor is on i could use you know all of our uh, cell service equipment we have cell service and we're right by the ocean we're not in necessarily stones throwing distance um, but a short walk um, and we'll and we'll be there so All's i well think that ends well. All, all is well that ends well i'm enjoying my beer from a weed brewing company right now it's an amber if you're curious so that's it for this video and um, I don't know what we're doing next. I'm sure it'll be something interesting though from around More the area. More adventures to come. Yes, from uh, northern, from the northern coast. Um, Oregon coast. That's right. All right, that's it. Bye guys. Bye.